Kia ora, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week at everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news two of the four world's largest economies are back in recession or are nearly. But first up today, there was another dairy auction overnight and prices in US dollars were virtually unchanged. But in New Zealand dollars, they dipped 1.7% as the New Zealand dollars appreciated by 1% in the past two weeks. This is the fourth consecutive event where prices have stayed virtually unchanged, so in effect it embeds in the big rise we got at the beginning of March. Prices are now up 25% from the start of 2021 and up 42% from this time last year. It seems unlikely today's event will undermine any farm gate milk payout price forecast. US housing starts fell quite sharply in April and more than expected, continuing the unusually volatile start to 2021. But building permit levels remained high, so, building start, so the building start miss is unlikely to be a trend. More likely, timber shortages and other supply chain issues are behind this miss. The latest weekly US retail sales indicators suggest firm activity. In China, the massive infrastructure push over the past 10 years, one that was financed by more debt, finds that more than $2 trillion of that will fall due over the next 30 months. That wall of maturities is starting to unnerve the debt holders, and those who are foreign are quietly trying to offload it. It isn't going to be pretty for global bond markets generally on how this gets resolved. China already has big issues with its state-owned Huarong Bad Bank, one set up to manage a debt disaster from an earlier era. Japan's economy stalled in the March quarter, shrinking more than analysts had expected. GDP shrank and annualised 5.1% from the prior quarter in the three months through March, ending a two-quarter streak of double-digit growth. And the EU also reported March quarter GDP data, and that also retreated, down and annualised 1.8%. This is the second quarter of shrinkage, so the EU is back in recession. The US Treasury 10-year yield starts today at 1.64% and a little change from this time yesterday. And the price of gold starts today virtually unchanged as well from this time yesterday at $1,868 an ounce. And oil prices start today a little softer at just under $65.50 a barrel in the US, while the international Brent price is just under $68.50. And the Kiwi dollar opens today at 72.5 US cents and firmer overnight. Against the Australian dollar, we're firm at 93 Australian cents, and against the euro, we're a little changed at 59.3 euro cents. That means our trade weighted index is at 73.8. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.